Well, the push by employers to bring workers back into the office may be having a reverse effect. A new survey finds some hybrid workers would rather leave their jobs and give up flexible schedules. That's especially true on Wall Street, where a recent survey found one in two professional investors were willing to quit their jobs if their managers required them to spend more time in the office. The trend is having an impact on hiring practices, company growth, and more. Joining us now is Bloomberg reporter Joe Constance. She is a co-author of a recent article on the subject in Bloomberg News. So, Joe, tell us, how has company growth been impacted overall by the fact that many workers would prefer to work remotely or at least have a hybrid schedule? Right. So we have new data out uh, just this week that looked at how uh, recruitment was impacted by the number of days in the office companies are requiring. And it's showing that companies that require more days in the office are growing at a slower rate, um, especially those companies that require five days uh, in the office. Um, and so that is just some preliminary evidence to show that you know, again, workers really value their flexibility that they um, got during the pandemic, and um, that's just continuing. Now, uh, there's also been a lot of debate about productivity in terms of allowing remote work, hybrid work. A lot of companies think that there's a lack of productivity. Other employees say, I actually get more done when I'm able uh, to have a hybrid schedule. What ha What is actually the truth about that? Yeah, that's a really tough one, especially because, again, there's those perceptive perception differences. You know, the people who are working remotely really say that they uh, do feel more productive. Um, and then the perception is different from management, and it's hard to square those two things. Um, but I think what we're seeing is even if somebody is um, just as productive at home as they would be in the office, and maybe even a little bit more because there aren't as many distractions uh, that you might have in an open floor plan. Um, you might be losing other things like the connections with your colleagues. Uh, you might have really strong connections with your team members who you're talking to and working with every day, but you may not have as many weak ties with other people um, at the company. So, you know, there are potentially other things that are lost and we're just learning more about that, um, you know, as, as we go along. So, Joe, uh, given that your research or, or your reporting finds that companies that are requiring full-time in-office uh, work are growing slower, they're finding it more difficult to recruit people, what can employers do to try and compete uh, if they want their workers to be in the office? Yeah, I mean, I think the idea there is really just um, – look very carefully at how many days you really need because again I think for a lot of people um a lot of a lot of employees appreciate the fact that it's important to have some of some in-person time so you know a lot of people would say yeah sure I can I'm happy to come in two days three days um but I think the the question there is do we really need everyone in five days a week um and if that's the case then I think, you know, it's up to senior leadership to be very clear about exactly why that is. I think people really appreciate just knowing the the logic and, and understanding that and if they can get on board with that and understand how, you know, why it's necessary for the business. Um, I think a lot of people um, can appreciate that. All right. Joe Constance, thank you.